So the book review of this book is called. Actually, when I read this, I thought it was like a personality or behavior, but it's quite an interesting book because they write things like, "Do you have low self-esteem?" And do you think food actually will increase or lower your sex appetite? <laughs> What's the relationship between sex behavior and your age? <laughs> Using logic, can you control your sexual desire? Well. So you can. This is interesting. Throughout history, they do this. <laughs> I don't know if it's true though. <laughs> this is funny. Impotent. Some people are impotent. Do you think they have a good life? <laughs> How do you scientifically look at sex? Well, there are many interesting.、Uh, some people don't know they have like X X genes X Y, but then there is X Y X X X X X Y. <laughs> Very rarely these things happen. So this is genetics. This is serious. Sex, surely transmitted disease, would make a person paralyzed and extremely dangerous. Yeah, this is syphilis. <laughs> I don't know. Do they teach that in school? <laughs> How do you teach children about sex? See, our society have so many advertising that you. Human body to attract, but how do young people differentiate, and how well do they be educated? What is abnormal sexual behavior? <laughs> This is like. Very abnormal sexual behavior for people who practice like、uh, so. This book is interesting. We talk about sexual behavior. <laughs> Like what to do for pregnancy, like、uh, so. Why do we? How do we control our sexual desire? That's an interesting thing. <laughs> well, of course, nowadays we have so many scientific、uh, ways you can use, like cloning, <laughs> which is illegal. Or、well, there are many other ways you can do. Homosexuality. Actually, we 
in some country they still think it is illegal but i don't know why <laughs> So all in all, this is an interesting book. Fun, interesting fact. Talk about it. Abnormal, what is normal? 